Good evening, Elizabeth. As you can tell, it is night time. I'm out for a walk. And uh, we're filming this video now for fun. Uh, welcome to February. It is Monday the 1st of February. Very satisfied that this month is four weeks long and starts on a Monday. I've got to say, I think your hair's looking all right, you know, a bit fuzzy. But it's growing really quick. Like, it's been like an inch in a month. That's pretty good. Today's uh, topic of choice is music and what music we listen to. And it's kind of a topic that I find a bit difficult. Firstly, I find it a bit difficult because music is a bit contentious. Like, people argue about it, people don't always see the value in all kinds of music. And for someone who is constantly doubting their own opinion on literally everything, that's not, that's not a straightforward topic. And secondly, it's just because I listen to a lot of music and it doesn't necessarily all end up being one genre or one easily described umbrella, which I think is the case for everyone really. And it's it's difficult to talk about it without sounding pretentious or self-important. The thing is, as I've eventually realised, is you just have to kind of get over that and realise that you like what you like and that's fine. There's no specific reason to like a band. You don't have to like things that are intellectual or clever or brilliant. But you can and that's fine too, but you can't just like listening to things because they're nice to listen to. <laughs> I guess that's kind of what One Direction are, right? They're pleasant to listen to. And obviously since they were something that teenage girls like, everyone decided that they were terrible. I mean, who knows, to be honest. Maybe they will have a Beatles-like resurgence and in 50 years all the cool boys will be saying, oh, I love the classics, like what makes you beautiful. Oh yeah, I don't listen to any of that modern trash. I'm all about night changes, to be honest. Oh, I think the four is their finest album. It's silly. It's all silly, stupid, gatekeeping music world. Shut up. Let people like what they like. Uh, for what it's worth, my favourite genre is probably like all rock, indie, pop stuff. Not really much of a genre, is it? It doesn't mean anything. Alt? Alternative? How can a favourite genre of music be just not popular? There's so much music, you can't just say you like everything that isn't on capital. Like, that doesn't make any sense. But that's the micro genre that Spotify chooses to allocate it. So, like, if we're talking all time, my favourite artists are probably like Radiohead. Yeah, probably just Radiohead, which, again, would get judged for being pretentious or faux arty or whatever. Um, no, I just, I just like how some of their albums sound, to be honest. Moral of the story is like what you like, even if it's One Direction or even if it's pretentious. I hate the term guilty pleasure. Do you want me to feel guilty for liking music? For something that brings me joy? No, stop it. I will listen to Fountains of Wayne for as long as I want to. Welcome into State Managers has some bangers. <laughs> yeah, not gonna lie, this video got weirdly aggressive. Turns out I have opinions. Controversial. Editing Fran here. Guess whose phone deleted the video where I recorded a bit where I talked about your punishment. Anyway, long story short, let's say by end of February, given that it's your first, um, we'll get to that bit. Maybe indiscretion is the word I'm looking for? I don't know. Ask Abby. Speaking of Abby, I am in fact wearing the Goose t-shirt today. Uh, she got me for the t-shirt Fanta. I think I'll cause problems on purpose. I stopped for that shot, you're welcome. I have received compliments for it today, even via Microsoft Teams call. We're home, so I hope you enjoyed my poorly lit face during today's video. I feel like given my massive rant, I think tomorrow I'm going to ask, give me a rant. Give me something you're angry about today, or have strong, passionate feelings about. Um, anyway, until then, I will see you tomorrow and I will speak to you on Wednesday.